Hello everyone, it's Kalo Games here today and today we're building something really cool. I'm I've been trying to build more modern things, so looking for inspiration, I stumbled across an architect called I'm not gonna pronounce his name right. Jua Leviska? Jua Leviska? Something like that. But he has really interesting, very vertical um, uh, projects that he's done. He's done a lot of churches, so like, like you know, those are usually resemble well not resemble but they usually go up because heaven and you know all, all that stuff <laughs> so I wanted to try to do something in that style and I wanted to do it in a park I wasn't sure if I want if I wanted to do like a like a church or a, well not a church but like a wedding venue or like just a park with a funky building. So what I chose to do is to make a poll on Twitter and ask you guys um in what world would you like to see a modern park because i thought maybe if i did it in windenburg a modern church would look really cool in those in those properties that are almost on the water you know but at the end a uh, the winner of the poll was san maishuno In the poll, I also added Oasis Springs and the El Sol Valley, which I think in any of those worlds, uh, a, a building of this style would have looked cool. But I really like that that at w at the end San Maishuno one, even though it wasn't my first choice, I think it just fits in really well with this with this world so <laughs> I haven't even told you what we're doing we're doing a youth center which you probably read from the title so anyway this was actually my brother's idea because I wasn't sure what to do because I felt like in a city like Like San Maishuno, you, I, I, I don't know why. Don't ask me why. But I didn't feel like a church would fit, or like a wedding venue. I could imagine a ved a wedding venue on the top of a skyscraper, you know, but not in like this, in such an open area, on the ground. So I opted to do a park with like an emphasis on youth things, youthful things. So it's a youth center, whatever that means. So this, it has, I added a basketball court, I added chess tables, I added... Um, I added easels and a place to do a mural or graffiti. Also, we have woodworking tables. <laughs> we have a lot of stuff in this place. As you can see, I played around with terrain manipulation just a little bit to give it some more definition And I kind of liked making the sides taller, 
so it would f almost feel like a little valley and because you know being surrounded by taller things kind of gives this feeling of protection kind of so the very center is flat and the sides are a little bit taller not a lot but just a little bit there's the basketball court it's small <laughs> Very small, but I felt like it was enough, especially consider considering how many other activities we have in the lot. So, when I placed that basketball court is when it all started to <laughs> kind of come together. Because I struggled with this build so much. <laughs> I just... I spent quite a bit of time just spinning around and looking at it for, from all the angles and thinking about what I could do and of course I cut that out of the video but it was tough <laughs> but here it starts to, t to take shape we have the chess tables in the center which are uh, uh, necessary to have a park lot and then we get a start on the interior and like I'm I start to plan where everything's gonna be because since it's such a modern build and it's a park building I didn't want to make it very cluttered because I feel like that just wouldn't make sense we on on the very top we had a little office for the manager i would guess <laughs> which i i really like this little office it's nothing too crazy it's very simple but i really like it and i finally used that bookcase from what's the from the fitness stuff pack which is it's an object I really like, but I I had struggled with finding where to place it. So the as I was saying, the interior design of this build is very simple. It's not very cluttered. Maybe the office is one of the most cluttered spaces because you know it it's like one of the like the more private space but it's still very simple nothing too crazy we added that chandelier which I love but there's it's difficult to place because it's huge it's the full length of a tall of the tallest height of wall we have so you can only use it like on two and on, on to sorry <laughs> on to to different uh, levels sorry so yeah i made a little support for it so it wasn't floating and i thought it was really cool that from the top you can see three levels of the building now we're continuing with the park side of the <laughs> because even though it's like one build it's you have like the inside space and the outside space and they're quite different I mean they're they have a similar style but a little bit different as you can see I added um, a vendor a place because that would be the only way well not the only way to get food if this what this lot wasn't placed in the city it would be the only way to get food i just put a little tea and hot drinks stall my other choice was mexican food <laughs> because i think that's very useful and I love Mexican food 
and yeah so you can change that out to to whatever kind of food you prefer in game we make a little foosball area just to chill and then I remembered oh yeah lights are a thing <laughs> and we need to see here when it's dark so I started adding all the lights we make a little computer station nothing too fancy just a place where where you can I don't know do your homework <laughs> I don't know a little reception desk which I wasn't sure if I should do because this is supposed to be like an open place but I thought it gave it a nice it defined the entrance you know what I mean like it it didn't open onto an activity area it opens into a reception so that defines the space I added some yoga places the instructor is on, on the the little bit taller level so I thought that was a nice detail and it it works also I tested this lot out and you can see in the screenshots people using it well this time there's not not really screenshots it's more like a little showcase video where we tour around which I, I really like to do those but I don't always have the time or the patience because they they can be tricky sometimes and sometimes my computer doesn't want to collaborate and sometimes they get laggy but this time it worked out think thankfully so we do have those adding some lights to the outside which I thought was really important because a park you want to be able to use it day and night you know especially in the middle of the city <laughs> I wasn't sure how to illum illuminate everything because some lights just look out of place so eventually we just get the those kind of bollard lights and place them around the paths to finish illuminating everything those ones yeah there's I filled up all the spaces we had well almost all but they it, like this this that space with the trees and this other space with the trees could be very easily um remodeled into something else i just really like the trees and a bit of added greenery i thought it really helped it feel more like a park and not just like a plaza then i did some a little bit of terrain painting just to feel to make everything feel a little bit more real <laughs> and now we're finishing up the inside so even though this is a very minimalist build I did want to add quite a bit of detail so we did this little trick that I I saw in one of Deligracy's videos where she downloads paintings from the gallery that other sims have painted so they're not custom content but they're different from the paints you have in game well not in game but like from the catalog so I thought that was nice because all, you can like imagine that those paintings were painted by the by the people who attend the youth center we do have quite a few painting stations, two woodworking stations, and you can see I added some poofs. Uh, off camera, I, I got the idea to add a stereo where the foosball table is. So 
That's cool. And now we're making a little storage closet that is probably <laughs> my favorite room in this whole build. Because it's not it's nothing crazy. It just has a few stuff that could be fun to place around the 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 place. You know, in summer you could bring out the bucket in there's a little card table, a little cooler, you know, just some extra easels, an extra cork board, maybe for announcements, <laughs> just little details like that. Now we added just a somewhere where people can hang a, hang up their paintings, and we are almost done with this video, so. If you liked it please give it a thumbs up maybe subscribe if you want to see more like this let me know in the comments what you thought and now i will leave you with the, the little showcase i hope you like it and i will see you later bye